right where that shield is, is right here on the foreshore of the Maroochee River. You know, right behind us is all the mangrove. The tree that was used to, to make the shield is right here. Yeah. So that's sort of like the artwork complementing the landscape, the landscapes complementing the artwork. These mangrove trees are so important for this river. It's a kindergarten, it's a, it's a holding place for all the, the young fish growing up in these areas. It stabilises the banks. With the red ones here, like this one behind us, you know, you use the tenon there for, for your fishing nets to strengthen up the nets. It was such a multi-use tree. And most of the custodians that are on these rivers work to look after these trees because the importance of this tree is to keep this river here. I would love for you guys to have a look through these and then let me know if there's any colours that you think might look good. Well, yeah. see, the colours are red and black and white, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the colours from Ruchi. Mm. Um, so you can see that's your, that's your diamond bit yeah. there and this is, this is the, that corrugation happening. Mm. You just can do any, any line you want, sort of thing. Need as. Oh, I'll have to talk to the guys. <laughs> but I reckon that's all right. Having it have a, actually a rounded edge because it brings up the the usage of the shield over time. It's not yeah. going to have a hard edge. Yeah, Maybe right. when it's first done, yeah. yeah. But after the touching it and hitting that's it, and right. it's yeah. going to be rounded off anyway eventually. Yeah. Oh, it's just so nice, and that's how our old mate's going to be like that. And, oh, that'll be perfect, won't it? bad. Uh, it's just been an eye-opening experience for me and Cuz, I'm sure, because we used to just painting on canvas and maybe doing a wall or a footpath or some shields or some boomerangs, but not actually making a shield, you know, metal shield that we can stand up and blah bly Man, our, our parents, you know, they're going to be that happy with us doing that ballerang. watching it being poured. Things are coming together quite well now. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully it does get the conversations going within the community, opening up them old stories as well, and also hopefully getting a better understanding of our equipment that was used in the area. A shield, as we all know, it's used for protection, but the important thing is actually the stories that go onto the shield. Each shield is actually personalised to its owner. And the good thing about it is with those stories, it's a sense of identity then. A stranger can see that shield and know exactly where that's from, who his mob is, because of those designs on those shields. So it was like your birth certificate. You see all those different shield patterns and designs and everyone was different, but they were all geometric patterns and shapes. I always drive past here, I'm always going to Majimba or something, and I always got the kids in the car or whatever. But I say, hey, there you kids, there's my artwork, there, look at the artwork ship. So they had a good look at it, and you know, it's something that they, they can um, you know, tell their, their friends or you know, their kids when they have kids and all that sort of thing. <laughs>